So it's it's done. All my recordings are ruined. But it's okay, because I have an idea. I'm gonna make this episode interesting. I'm gonna take you through exactly what I did. All of it. And I'm gonna make it better. Uh, long story short, all my recordings look like this. And that doesn't look pleasing to look at. Alright, where should I begin? First thing I started to make was this data collector so that I could duplicate the loot of withers, wither skeletons, and blazes. Now, making the things was the easy part. It was data per kill that was the hard part. Essentially how it works is the more mobs you kill, the higher the chance of you getting a prediction. And a prediction is what you need to get the loot. So here would be the generalized nether end or overworld prediction would be. And here is the mob prediction. These guys. Mob predictions correlate to loot. You get to select what drop you want from its loot pool, which really comes in handy. But after that, I made this teleport pad. All throughout this mining dimension, I did a massive, massive mining spray of ancient debris. Once I got all that ancient debris, I chucked it all in the crushing factory, which turned it into dirty netherite scrap, effectively tripling your gain. Yada, 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 combine it with gold, turns it into ingots, and that's how I got 100. Then, when I got enough, I made the compact machine. Specifically, the maximum level compact machine. Which doesn't, in fact, come with a spawner built in. You have to make that. So that's what I did. After searching far and wide for spawners, I made what is called a mob swab. Which, if you use on a mob, will collect its DNA. Then, if you turn it into chicken feed, you can use it on a chicken, and it will give you that DNA as a spawn egg. So, I went ahead and I made this compact machine that I could shrink myself into. And here we have the farm that I made. Right now, it gives us all the fundamental loot that we need for our journey. Oh yeah, and I made this guy so I could trade emeralds for whatever sapling I want and whatever food item I want. Like if I need a tree sapling for specific types of wood to make bookshelves that are slightly better than normal ones. Or if I just need wood. But yeah, that's really about it. That's everything summed up within, what, five minutes maybe? I don't know. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to catch me next time, don't worry, this won't happen again. Make sure to subscribe and join the Discord to stay notified. Peace!